Welcome to WCSN's coverage of ASU Volleyball. Alongside Trey Lanthier, I'm Josh Franz. Trey, tonight we're going to talk about where the Sun Devils sit amongst the top of the Pac-12 Conference, or if they do sit amongst the top of the Pac-12 Conference. But let's start now with the Sun Devils coming off a loss to Oregon in their last game. It puts them at 2-2 two and two in conference play. There are three teams that currently sit ahead of them in the polls. Southern California is at number one, Washington's at number six, and Stanford's at number eight. Where do you rank the Sun Devils right now? Well, the, the Sun Devils are obviously behind those three teams at the moment. Uh, they're, those are top ten teams. They're consensus top ten teams. They're always powerhouses. Uh, for ASU, it's a question of, of can they make that sudden turnaround? I mean, last year this is a team that squeaked into the tournament. Uh, now they're a much younger team than they were last year, and they, they have so much youth. I mean, pretty much every role player, aside from Stephanie Preach, is is either a sophomore or a freshman right now. Right. And that youth is is showing up in games like the Oregon game. Um, and it's, it's causing a bit of a pros and cons in a way because the Sun Devils are benefiting from it when they're looking for that energy, but they're also finding struggles when they, they need to rely on experience. Uh, and I think it's going to come back to bite them in later Pac-12 stages when you're relying on these younger players to try and get the job done. So do I think the Sun Devils have a chance to be in the top of the Pac-12? Absolutely. Uh, but they definitely still have a lot to prove before they're there. Right, we've seen them come up big in one big game this year. It wasn't a Pac-12 game, but the neutral site match at Illinois against Texas, they were able to sweep the Longhorns in straight sets 3-0. How does that game impact really where they sit in the Pac-12? Well, it, it's a huge indicator that ASU can compete with anybody in the country. If you can sweep the defending national champions who were number two in the country at the time, you can pretty much beat anybody. Um, and and that's, that was a big uh, measuring stick for ASU right. to finally make their way on a national scale, as well as competing with Illinois on their home court, taking them five sets. Those are both games that, that proved a lot in the non-conference. Now coming into the conference play, it's a question of if they can keep that momentum rolling. We saw against Oregon, this team is beatable at home. Uh, they were 5-0 and at home coming into that game, dropped their first game, including also their first set against Oregon. So... Can they keep up? They're going to have some tough road games coming up here. Right, you mentioned the tough road games. They head to Washington and Washington State. Neither one of those teams are rollovers, obviously, yeah. as we mentioned. So, especially not on the road. Right, on the road it's tough to beat anybody. But what do you expect to see this weekend when they do head down to Washington? I would say that Washington State's a very winnable game. Uh, if you stick to your game plan, if you're ASU, you, you keep your presence up front of the net, you should be able to take care of business. Against Washington, I think you're lucky to come away with a set. Uh, they're very, very, very difficult team. At home, I just cannot see ASU coming up with a win. They're on the cusp of being able to beat Washington, but they're just not there yet. Coach Watson did mention this week that when they go on the road, their goal is to at least get a split. So it looks like they will be able to do that this weekend. I guess winning against Washington would just be icing on the cake. But now let's do a quick ranking of your top five teams in the Pac-12. Where does ASU sit? Well, it looks just like the NCAA rankings, except that, that I have Oregon above ASU after the win in Tempe. I would say that USC, Washington, and Stanford are the top three, and then Oregon right in that four slot. I think they're finding their rhythm as they go along. They suffered a tough loss to Arizona, but the win over Arizona State's big for them. And then I have ASU at that five spot, so it's definitely an improvement from where they were last year, but before they break up into the top three area, they're going to have to get some more experience on this team. So we'll see if ASU, ASU is able to make that jump. If they can beat Washington, it would be a great start. Yep. But that'll do it for our coverage of ASU Volleyball for Cronkite Sports. For Trey Lanther, I'm Josh Franz. To get all your volleyball information, just go to CronkiteSports.com and click on that Volleyball tab.